rocket jump is when you take a rocket launcher, instead of using it to dispatch your enemy, you point it at your own feet and you jump and you fire it. This resulting explosion propels you into the air to a more advantageous position so that you can't believe what you're looking at. In a weird way, what we found is that that does kind of describe our stuff. what we got. Dude, are you kidding me? It's not fair that you got all the special moves. I don't know a single one. Which one should I do? Rocket jump is a place where we make a lot of movies. We're just a huge bunch of nerds and we make the stuff that we like to make. We've made three seasons of a show called Video Game High School. We just finished a show on Hulu called Rocket Jump the Show. We have uh, what we call the Rocket Jump Film School, which is behind the scenes content. We basically do anything that involves video and the internet at this point. Our ultimate goal is to have them be shared. It's awesome when someone enjoys it, but when they pass it on to the next person, that's really cool. When I was starting to get into film, there felt like there were a lot of barriers to entry. It's very exclusive. There's like this myth around Hollywood that filmmaking is this untouchable thing that only the elite get to get into. We decided to just be like, hey, let's just start putting stuff online. Let's see if we can find an audience. I think it was just, we were impatient and out of film school, we wanted to make stuff. We wanted to try making movies the way we had fun. I remember the first video I made, it was using after Effects 3.0, I think, or Photoshop 3, to do lightsabers because my brother and I wanted to hit each other's pool cues and make it look like Star Wars. And as time has gone on, what we use now is essentially Creative Cloud across the board. After Effects has been a part of our visual effects pipeline since the beginning. It's premiere for our edits, everything from our short YouTube videos all the way up to the shows. With Creative Cloud's libraries, we can kind of keep a core group of assets that we know are going to appear in every video. The people who need to can make the changes to the graphic with libraries and then have those changes reflected across everyone else's. It may sound like I'm just like, oh yeah, all about Creative Cloud. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm downloading, I'm trying everything out there. And there is really no comparability to Creative Cloud. And the way that those feature sets continue to improve and the way that they continue to stay on top of everything that's going on, Premiere especially, for example, right? The goal is be able to drive the nail into whatever you're working on. Rocket Jump started with friends putting stuff on YouTube. As our company grew, more and more different people and different voices and different backgrounds joined this company. But the main thing that has stayed constant is that we're all friends. Being film school kids, we were always interested in how movies are made. And so we started doing a little behind the scenes. So we're trying to give people an insight into the actual creation of it. The core makeup is making film education accessible and easy to understand and encouraging anyone who wants to tell their story to be a filmmaker and showing them how to do it. We're going to use a bounce like this more than just, oh, I know how to do this effect now in After Effects or how this is this trick in editing in Premiere. It's about, here's how I would apply this in another context because I understand the underlying cinematic language that's being applied here. I also wanted to show more women behind the camera because when I was growing up, I didn't have that. I didn't know women could be in that field and just seeing someone behind a camera who is like me is just a huge gift. Life is an endless training montage. It's kind of the way I look at what we do. We'll go shoot an idea, edit it in Creative Cloud, publish it to our YouTube page, share how we made that video to the people that we think will want to hear about that fact. Filmmaking is all about vulnerability, but the only way you're gonna get better is to constantly make movies and fail it and then make a better movie. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable and just make the movies that you know in your heart that you want to make. We've had one of our writers, Will, essentially say, Rocket Jump, it shouldn't work, but it does. And if it does work, you're very surprised. <laughs> like, that's really kind of who we are. Yeah.